what is going on guys welcome back to ranger central and today we are going to review all the stadium series jerseys i know we're a rangers channel here mostly but i figured why not just review all the jerseys while we're at it so i can get islander fans devil fans and flyer fans all pissed off at me i think that would be fun so before we jump into everything please be sure to leave a like if you enjoy the video subscribe if you guys are new especially if you're ranger fans and turn on your notifications so you know why i upload or go live before we do review the jerseys though i do want to quickly mention something that did come out this morning in terms of the morning skate news unfortunately there was an update with phil pedal where he ended up going down for a couple minutes and needed help off the ice by zach jones and jake lecision i feel bad for the poor kid and it's just beyond infuriating at this point you know what's happening there especially when they need phil pedal back a guy like that in the lineup would make a big difference and unfortunately he gets hurt again Chris Drury is really going to have to consider just keeping him on LTIR for the rest of the year and then just bringing him back for the playoffs if he's ready to go then and using that cap space because at what point do you like what point do you realize it's not worth risking his career in a regular season game right now so yeah uh again I hope he gets better and I hope everything's okay but it is a scary situation so now we will jump into the review of the jerseys a little bit of a tough segue there because I really hope that he's okay uh, and it's just unfortunate but let's talk about the jerseys now because I am very happy about these we're gonna start with the Rangers one just because it's the first one in the top corner there and I absolutely love it I think this is way better than the third jerseys we got the number kit there beautiful on the back it's very similar the only thing that is a little different is the nameplate being just blue text there's no drop shadow on the name which I kind of like a lot I think it's a little bit of a different unique look and I really like the word mark just NYR on the front I think it was Kyle Hall that kind of spilled the tea there that it was going to be the NYR logo design on it and I said all right if they do it diagonal I think it has potential and it sure did have potential and it sure did hit in my opinion I know there are some people that don't like the jersey or just think it's mid to me I think this is beautiful I think it looks clean I really like the striping on the uh on the sleeve there as well I think the Rangers did a very good job on this jersey I would give it an 8 out of 10 and I'm definitely going to be buying one or two of these so yeah the Rangers for me, that that one is really good. I, I think it's beautiful. But then we move on to whatever the Islanders decide to do with their jersey. And this isn't even me being biased. I see a lot of Islander fans disappointed in this jersey. And rightfully so. I would be very aggravated if the Rangers drop this on us. This is like a 2 out of 10 at best. What are they doing with the lettering kit? Why are they trying to look like the Oilers without a logo on the jersey? Why are they why have they not learned from what they did last time with a word jersey where nobody liked it why did anyone in the islanders department whatever department it is decide this was it they really dropped the ball on this one they could have done so many different things there was way better designs online they could have done a lighthouse logo on the front i think that would have been really interesting looking and a, very different and cool uh, even doing another fisherman jersey would have been a lot better than this they could have done so many different ones we knew it was going to be navy blue for a bit now but they really dropped the ball heavy on this one i don't understand how they came up with this design that's just abysmal but we'll move on sorry islander fans that you got let down and you got absolutely just played with this jersey that that's just disappointing but we'll move on to the flyers one and this one i do really like to me it would be the best one but the only issue i have is that it's very similar to what the flyers already wear the only difference is the numbers are up on the shoulders and then the sleeve pattern is a little bit different but it still is a very good jersey the flyers they really are you know solid with that they took a safe pick kind of with these jerseys they didn't really do anything different it's kind of hard for them to do anything different because i think they have done i think they've participated in two stadium series or one stadium series and those were really good what they did that stadium series it was going to be hard to beat it and being the road team was going to make things a little bit more difficult as well so they couldn't do like a black jersey or an orange jersey there but i think they did good with what they uh what they could here and i think it's a pretty solid jersey it's a classic flyers look i'd go seven and a half out of ten to seven the only reason it's not higher is because again it's kind of more the same of what they normally do and then we have the new jersey devils one and this one's kind of middle of the pack for me. This one, we kind of had an idea that this would be the design too. We saw leaked merch 
all around in terms of it being, you know, their crest logo without the circle around it. And that's what we ended up getting where it was the all black logo here. And there's no white really in the jersey. They kind of just went red and black, which I kind of like. I kind of like that they went that direction. Do I love this jersey? No, I think it's kind of practice jersey looking a bit. I would give it personally like a five and a half to six out of ten. I think they could have done a bit better, but I'm not really sure how. Maybe add a little bit of white along the striping on the sleeves and do it a white outline. I know they wanted to be a bit different uh, with the jersey, but I think it would have added a little more pop to the jersey and made it a little more clean looking. But they still did a pretty good job trying to do something different. I won't hate if anyone thinks this is a better jersey than I graded it. But for me personally, it just doesn't do it uh, enough. Uh, considering what the Rangers and Flyers did personally, I think those two did a lot better. And I can't tell if the lighting for the Rangers one to get back to that one. I can't tell if that's an off-white just because of the picture lighting or if they're actually doing, um, you know, an off-white, which that would be cool. And that would be really nice if they did more of an off-white versus just a standard white like the Flyers are doing. But regardless... The only one I really hate is the Islanders jersey here. I think the Islanders, again, they dropped the ball so heavy on this one. I don't understand how that ended up getting approved. But, yeah, I'm also curious, too, why they went with a navy blue instead of a royal blue. I think they could have done way better with a royal blue. But I digress as I hit my mic there. I apologize if anyone heard that. But um, I digress there. Let me know your thoughts, though, in the comment section down below on the jerseys, how you'd rank them. For me, it's Rangers, Flyers, Devils, Islanders. I don't think it's really even close in terms of, you know, changing up the rankings for me, except maybe the Flyers could be ahead. But that's just my opinion. I think that that would be the ranking. Let me know your rating, too, on the jerseys. Let me know if you're very disappointed in the Rangers jersey, and I'm just delusional and biased for thinking that they have the best one out of the four. Would love to hear all of your thoughts, but... Yeah, apparently these are dropping on February 5th in terms of the release to buy them, which, you know, convenient timing. If you know, you know, but it's the NHL, it's something else in terms of them with their immaculate timing on certain things. But yeah, February 5th, the only thing that I question is how are they going to get these out in time for the game? Because I want to be wearing one at the game. I want to be wearing one of these at the game. That would be very nice, but who knows with the NHL, who knows with Fanatics. I, I really am scared with that. I already saw the Islanders. They're doing like a pre-order on their website, but they don't ship out until like the 15th. I don't know if they're doing it where you have to get it in person to if you want it now or if you if you do want it online, maybe they'll ship early if you get a blank one or if you get a certain player on it where they already have them stitched up and ready to go because of the fact that it's more of the popular players. Like we'll see with the Rangers, probably with Panarin, Igor, Mika. I'm sure the Islanders will have some ready for like, you know, Horvat, Barzell, and Sorokin, guys like that. So yeah, who knows? We'll see. But all I know is I hope, I hope, I hope that I could have this in time for the game because I really, really like the jersey. I really do. So much so that I'm probably going to end up getting two of them. Uh, I'm probably going to get two of them. Uh, but yeah, again, we'll love the, your, your thoughts in the comments. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 2K subs. Would appreciate it. We're going to recap the game later tonight that the Rangers play against the Golden Knights. See what happens there. But yeah, see you guys in the next one.